Oh, that's not good. Did you consult with your venue as to your power needs? Eh, no. Shame on you. Maybe we should all learn a little more from Dina Kaufman to make sure your next meeting venue is technology friendly. Sorry. I'm speaking with Dina Kaufman, Chief Operating Officer, Opus Events Agency. Dina, welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you. to have you here. Glad to be here. The subject, of course, is technology-friendly venues, and I have to ask you to back up to the 30,000-foot level and tell me what are technology-friendly venues, or alternatively, what are not technology-friendly venues? I think um, as, as a planner, when you're going into a venue, you're looking for venues that um, either supply um, a, a internet that's, that is at a, a vast level or that provides um, electric um, signage, that kind of stuff. So you're going into the venue and you're looking for the particular things that they have to offer that you can utilize from a technology standpoint as you're planning your event and executing your event. We talked about earlier about uh, Wi-Fi and, and internet mm -hmm. drainage and mm -hmm. the fact that, I mean, each of them, everybody participating in the event has yeah. some kind yeah, of requirement. Huge, so, yep, yep. so I guess that means what? I should be aware of what my presenters are, are doing, you bet. what the attendees are needing? You so. bet. Um, with with Wi-Fi, we look at a couple different things. So um, from uh, the work that we do is, is primarily in um, financial services and technology. So for the attendees at the events that we produce for our clients, we are coming up with a, with a um, uh, three, you know, times three. So we assume that you're going to show up to the event and you're going to have a laptop, a tablet, and a phone. You automatically multiply everything. From correct, them. correct. I've seen some calculators by two. Um, it's going to depend on your audience. It's going to depend on how technically mm -hmm. savvy they are or, or what you believe that they're carrying. So right off the bat, you, 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 if you're going to offer Wi-Fi, and I think it's becoming an expectation of attendees, you need to ensure that you're getting enough for ever, everybody sitting around that they have enough. So uh, just to figure out where we are so far, but with a tech-friendly venue, A, you want to be sure they have uh, sufficient Wi-Fi. Uh, you, you want to be sure that you've let them, you, that you're managing what look to be as many as five different networks, presenters, attendees, yep. staff. And those are set up within what they provide, right. yes. Or you bring in. Power, which you assume is sufficient, the question is really, there's enough power. What am I? What am I paying for it? I guess. Correct. And um, and then um, making sure that uh, that that uh, everybody is 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 able to provide everything you need in terms of power and signage and, and the whole. And yep. So that's yep. a tech friendly venue so far. Yep. Is there anything else that we need to talk about to, to get prepare people for uh, w what is a, a technology friendly venue? You know, if they if they have other partners that they're working with, kind of as right. you were talking to me, right. I was thinking, you know, so much of it comes back to communication, right? right. Um, uh, your specifications of what you need for the meeting being clear, and um, communicating what you need, and then understanding the parties at play within a convention center or a hotel, and and really developing that collaborative communication. Right. I mean, everyone wants to help you. Right. Everybody wants you to have that meeting at that hotel, right? right. So so now the intentions it's, are good. The sure, question. sure. So now it's it is, um, and they may help you understand what you need for your hotel. Right. I mean, excuse me, for your meeting, right? They may they may provide some input, and so ensuring that that's a collaborative conversation and understanding the players and who they can introduce you to, right. um, I would say that's probably the next thing is understanding are there other technologies that can be brought in by partners they have in-house. Uh, so basically what we're saying to, to um, meeting and event professionals is the constant, the current recurring theme I heard was get advice from somebody. Mm -hmm. You need, you need mm -hmm. uh, a CTO or a C See, uh, I, you know, I owe somebody yes. who can uh, give you sane, sage, sound advice, advice on what you need, mm -hmm. and and, yeah. and a assess, subject matter expert. Yeah, yeah. assess whether the hotel yeah. has yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and this whole issue of power sounds like, as you say, the wild west. I mean, yeah. a, an open frontier, of, yeah. and they need to monitor that uh, on a continuing basis, right? Yes, yes. Understand what you need, 
and seek what you need, but then right. monitor that bill as you go. And, and knowing your audience, I thought I thought towards the end that was a great thought that mm -hmm. we hadn't come mm -hmm. uh, to grips with before. Mm -hmm. That uh, yeah, we're going to go paperless, but maybe not for this meeting. <laughs> yes, maybe you got yeah, people come to this yeah, meeting and it is really meeting. understanding. Right. It's, it's understanding that because um, so much of the future of events um, is the audience taking in the education the way that they want. So not the way you want to give it, but ah. the way that they are comfortable receiving it. And that's part of understanding. So there's that future comment we're looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it really does uh, put technology and power in its proper perspective, which is mm -hmm. it's an enabler to get them what you just said they want, yeah. which is they yep. want what they want when they want it. Yep. So. Yep. Well yep. done. Thank Dina, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good talking to you. Thank you. We've been speaking with Dina Kaufman, Chief Operating Officer, Opus Events Agency. Dina, again, thank you for your time. Yep, thank you. And please be uh, sure to look for more tips in the broadcast.